Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Pokemon Green version. Last time we finally finished off self. Thank goodness. And now we're going to be going through the Saffron Gym. Pokemon Gym, Lear Sabrina, Master of Psychic Pokemon. Now then, this place is gonna be entirely stinger. Saffron Gym, Lear Sabrina, Lane Trainers, of course. He usually gets there first. Champion making Sabrina's psychic. Pokemon uses her psychic power instead of force. Spider Pokemon are weak against psychic Pokemon. They get creamed before they can even aim a punch. And I just remembered, so I forgot to switch pages. Be right back in just a second. Okay, I'm back and now to go through this entire place. It's you remember the warps in Sylph? Well, we're not done with them quite yet. We still have a whole gym filled with them. Sabrina's young, but she's also our leader. You won't reach her easily. Uh, yeah, well, well actually it's a bit tricky, because if you're like me, I like to battle every single trainer in the place. A slowpoke. Right. I got that. It's, uh... Um... Wire Psychic. So, Twin Needle or Mega Drain will do. Which is a good thing that I have Mega Drain on... on, uh, Stinger. So then he has some good type coverage. You know, I think I'll see how well Mega Drain does against this, because if it doesn't do too much damage, then I'll just keep with... Okay, yeah, I'll stick with, uh, Twin Needle then. Yeah, Twin Needle's gotta be my ace in the hole here. Because, at the very least, it does two hits instead of one. Oh crud, Slowbro. The evolved form of Slowpoke, and it looks like it's trying to eat that thing that's on its tail, and it's got a ton of defense, apparently. Ah, oh, okay, Water Gun. It just soaked to the text box. <laughs> okay. There we go. And, uh... That thing on Slowbro's tail is actually a shelter. Only it's really warped for a shelter. I lost my concentration, and you lost the battle. There used to be two Pokemon gyms in Saffron. The fighting Dojo next door lost its gym status when we went to and creamed them. Okay. Okay, I'm basically gonna be searching through all these warps. But first, I'm just gonna be going straight to the left and right when appropriate. You and I, our Pokémon shall fight! I'm thinking that a couple of these trainers, like this channeler, or as I like to call them, the mop heads, have ghost types, which is kinda weird considering there's no ghost Pokémon gym. But still, Twin Needle still does the job since ghost type Pokémon in this game are also full part poison. And that also adds another weakness that Stinger can take advantage of since due to its twin needle ability or attack. As you can see, I'm pretty much obliterating this person's team. And of course, Haunter wouldn't be a full set without one of them, I suppose. Uh oh. Oh, good. That was that was kind of close. Let's finish it off with Mega Drain, just so then we can heal up a little bit. Although it doesn't look like it healed it me at all. <laughs> I lost after all. I knew that this was going to take place, and you shouldn't have challenged me in the first place if you knew you were gonna lose. Wow, it looks like a repeat of the room below me. Does our unseen power scare you? You have an unseen power? I didn't know that, so I guess no, it didn't scare me since I didn't know it even existed. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's, let's see how well I can do against this Kadabra with Twin Needle. Let's see. Nice, not even a critical hit. Wow, that's pretty good. And Slowpoke. Just the same, and we'll Twin Needle it as well. And thank goodness for hitting twice, otherwise that would have 
resulted in me taking a headbutt to the face. And I don't mind if Singer gains a few extra levels here, because he's going to be needing them. Let's see, creepy looking Mr. Mime. Goes down in one twin needle attack, thanks to hitting twice. I'm starting to repeat myself now, because I'm starting to run out of things to say, because I've already said the majority of what I needed to. I'm really hoping he that Stinger doesn't go above level 50, though. I never foresaw this! Second like Pokemon with your only ghosts and bugs. Hey, guess what? You just lost to a one. Okay, so now, some of the uh, warps will take you to the opposite side of the room than the one that you wanted, that you uh, warped through. You know that power alone isn't enough. Yeah, you need two sharp stingers on a drill. Which, thankfully, is what I'm using! Since it uses one stinger for each hit. And that kind of gets to be a bit confusing, considering his name is also Stinger. But I don't know what else to call those things on its arms. And I think I brought with me some elixirs and ethers with me. Just so then I don't run out of Twin Needle. So I'm prepared in that aspect. I don't believe this! Sabrina just wiped out the Ma Karate Master next door. When? Was it, uh, oh, I guess it was earlier. Huh? Okay, so now we're on this layer. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah. It can get a bit confusing on where you go in this gym, because I think there's like nine or so trainers. I haven't been keeping track of how many I've battled, actually. Saffron Gym is famous for its psychics. You want to see Sabrina? I can tell. Okay, so yet another psychic. How is he? I'm guessing he's using psychic power to levitate those Pokeballs, but... Hmm. Well, you never know. That could be exactly what he's doing. You never know, as I just said. Oh man. A non-critical Twin Needle only got him down to half health. Oh, so close. Okay, that takes care of him. Now I think I'll use uh, Lemonade to heal that damage up. Arg! So are you a psychic pirate now? That's right, I use telepathy to read your mind. Well, if you read my mind, then you'd probably be hearing a lot of crickets chirping. Because I sometimes tend to not think. Uh, let's see, Ether. Okay, restore Twin Needle. I also have Elixir, but that um, restores all my moves by 10, and I have yet to use my other two moves. Sabrina's younger than I, but I respect her. You know, from the overworld sprite to that person, that channeler, looks like an old lady. I suppose they probably originally had intended for that trainer to be classified as old lady. But I guess they changed their minds halfway through and decided to change it to channeler. Who might still be older than Sabrina. You never know. And another haunter. It's kind of weird how Haunter keeps just making that one weird sound instead of its actual cry, which has been fixed in later games. Oh, crud. Let's hope I can hit through this confusion. Of course. Whenever you're confused, you always hit yourself on the first turn. And the second, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Oh great, he got a critical on me. Oh, quit hitting yourself like an idiot! And he tried to reconfuse me. Okay, this is not voting well. Oh crud, 34 damage. Stinger's not gonna last through this. Okay, that I probably should have switched out way earlier than that. Let's go with Inferno. 
I'm not going to use Quick Attack, Bite, or Tackle, because they wouldn't be able to hit it. So right after this, I'm going to heal up. Ah, Inferno grew to level 43, that's nice. So yeah, I'm probably just going to cut away and heal off screen and get back to this place. Let's see. A battle of equals, the one with the stronger will wins. If you, beat, if you wish to beat Sabrina, focus on winning. Okay, I will. And I will see you right back here in just a second. Okay, and I'm back. So now, and uh, Stinger's fully healed as well. Let's see. Okay, I'm out of that guy too. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Had to go through one. Uh, completed a room to make a new, to get to a new one. Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. Pokemon must be tough then. Oh, so you think I look tough? Well, that's actually a compliment if I've ever heard one in this game. Because those are kind of far and few between. Oh great, it's another Haunter, level 38. Jeez, nine levels. It's weaker than a Stinger, but still pretty strong. Especially if it didn't even get to half health. Let's hope it doesn't use Confusion. Dream Eater? Okay, Dream Eater is a move that works only if the uh, opponent, the other Pokémon, is asleep. It works just like Mega Drain, only when, you're, when the opponent is asleep. That's the only time it ever works, because it literally eats the Pokémon's dream and heals itself. Wow, level 48! Nice. I knew it! I must teach better techniques to my Pokémon! Oh, I saw her. I saw Sabrina, and there she is again. Uh, wait, was this a... Uh... Nope, that's a uh, trainer I already beat. Um, I think I'm a bit lost now. Yeah, I'm definitely lost in this maze. Oh wait, never mind, here I am. <laughs> okay, now then, just going to save my progress, just in case anything goes awry, as usual, blah blah blah. It's my usual excuse for saving before a gym battle. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic powers since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. And now, the, uh, sixth gym leader, Sabrina of Saffron Gym. Why is she holding a whip? Oh, well, she has five... or er, four Pokémon. <laughs> I don't know where I got five from, but they're all psychic types, aside from her third Pokémon, surprisingly. I don't know why. Wow! That went down easily. Mr. Mime. Okay. Her first Pokémon, of course, was a Gadabra, the evolved form of Abra, and it went down in one hit from Twin Needle. Her second Pokémon, Mr. Mime, another psychic type that puts up defensive barriers. Venomoth, a bug poison Pokémon, which is really out of place, but I think I'll switch out to Inferno, actually, for this one, just to burn it down with... Um, Ember, to gain him some experience. Uh-oh, that's not good. Ooh, Psybeam, that's especially not good. Well, that could have got been worse. I, I mean, it only did, like, what, 18 damage? And <laughs> I'm super critical on Venomoth. And lastly, Alakazam, the fully evolved form of Abra and her ace in the hole here. It is level 43, and I believe it has Recover, probably Psychic and Psy Wave, and some other strong moves. Let's see how well- Whoa, it's outspeeding me! Crud. Uh, how's he doing on HP? 23 left! Holy crud, that- Oh my god! <laughs> Stinger, you are awesome! I almost expected him to faint from that Psy Beam, which is exactly why I leveled him up this high into the danger zone of level 50 before getting this badge. Oh man, that was a close one! I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss. 
I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. And that's the next badge. The Marsh Badge that makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. The stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much. Wait, please take this TM with you. TM 46 is Psywave. It uses powerful psychic waves to inflict damage. Everyone has psychic power. People just don't realize it. Really? Huh. Uh, I haven't been able to bend any spoons with my mind before. I guess I haven't been trying hard enough to, I suppose. Either that, or it's much tougher to do than, it, than those people make it out to be. Oh well, that takes care of the gym, and... Man, this is a lot of teleporting. This is probably gonna be the most teleporting that you ever do in this game. And all of it's right in a row. Hello there... Whatever your name is, I forgot what name I gave this guy. I think it was John, the gym guy? Uh, yeah. Psychic like power, huh? If I had that, I'd make a bundle of the slots. That is just pathetic. Okay, and now I'm in the winning trainer's thing. So now, let's see that shiny new badge. Okay, that looks nice. So now we have to go fight an alien next to get the seventh badge. And, uh, that's still gonna be quite a little while away. I also need to pretty much get the Surf HM back into my, uh, inventory so then I can use it. But now we're... we're getting close to the end of the game, actually. Considering we only have two more gym battles than the Pokemon League. And then, uh, then there's a few extra stuff after that. But, uh, hmm. Oh wait, wait, wait. Bah! Don't do that. Okay, let's get back uh, which HM was it that teaches Surf? Crud. Okay, that one is Fly, that one's... Strength, I think? I know this one's Flash, and I know that one is... Cut, I believe. So let's see. Is this the Surf HM, or is this the Strength one? That's the strength one, so it's HM number three. Jeez. Okay. Let's bring back in number three and HM number three, I mean. Oh, come on! That seriously took up- oh wait, right, there's also the TM that she gave me. Okay, let's deposit that along with this. Oh! Come on. I'm thinking that I might actually have to sell off these excess TMs, considering I'm having a lot of trouble with this. But I'll have to figure out which TMs I don't need first. So, yeah, you can expect me to do that. Oh, I just deposited the very same HM that I just picked up. That's just stupid, huh? Oh well, uh, try not to make the, half this video be item management at the PC. Uh, at least I'm hoping not. it won't be. Okay, deposit number four, not number three. Okay, let's teach Nestor the uh, Surf HM move. So now we can go across the ocean now. That's good, so now... Hmm. What should I do now? Um... Hmm. You know what? I think I'll head over to Viridian City, actually. Because there's something over there that I haven't taken care of yet. At least I don't think I have. That I can now do thanks to Surf. I could also use Cut to get across this water. But still. Let's see. Yeah, I also do stuff in the sun. 
heard the stream about a drowsy eating my dream. What's this? Where did this TM come from? This is spooky. Here, you can have this TM. So that's the Dream Eater TM, and I have no use for it, actually. <laughs> TM42 contains Dream Eater. Snore. Yeah, let's see if that gym here at Viridian is open up yet, because I'm kind of curious. Has it opened up yet? Because that would be kind of cool if it is. Let's see. Oh, still closed. Well, only one way to find out is if this door pushes me off this ledge. Yep, it's locked. Okay, well, uh, hmm. Let's head back to Fuchsia. Because now, there's only one place left to go right now on the map that I haven't explored, and that would be the water routes. There's only, like, four of them in the entire game, I think. And I have yet to even enter this area. Um, it's a small area of land right here. Have to warm up before you my swim. And there's actually two routes to get to the next city that we have to go to, which is actually an island. Swimmer wants to fight, so tentacle. Only level 30? I thought by now they have Pokemon that were higher than 30. Oh! That's not good. Okay, let's go with Razor Leaf. It has more strength in it, I suppose. Besides, these uh, next few videos are gonna be probably mostly in the water, because I'll be doing a ton of surfing. And at least now that I have the Marsh Badge, I can get my Pokemon up above level 50, and we'll have to only concern myself with not exceeding level 70, but I'm not really expecting my team to go past level 60 or so. All warmed up! Thanks, kid! I'm ready for a swim! Well, why are you standing around here for swim? Sea Route 19, Fuchsia City, Seafoam Islands. I'm not going to be exploring the Seafoam Islands, actually. I'm gonna be saving that for later. Wait! You'll have a heart attack! Uh, why would I have a heart attack, exactly? I suppose they'll tell me after this battle. Oh, hey, a Goldeen. Actually, I haven't seen a million of these, because all that I've been seeing lately have been... Oh, come on, how'd I miss? Have been coughing, Evans, uh, Zubat, and Sandshrew. Oh yeah, also Magnemite and Voltorb evolutionary lines. Thanks to Self Company. But at the very least, it's a nice change to see water type Pokemon, even if they make up the majority of the Pokemon types, or majority of the Pokemon in the series. It's a nice change from all those poison and ground types. And also those very those four electric types that I encountered. Very least it's very easy experience right here. Let's see. Oh, that's chilly. Watch out for tentacle. How does that have anything to do with the heart attack? Uh Oh, well. oh wait, I already read this sign. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh yeah, something that's come to mind right now, actually, is uh, the 30th, July 30th. Just like last year, July 30th is my birthday. I look at the seat and forget. And I was thinking of, on the 30th, doing a bit of a... Uh, question and answer video, since I seem to get a couple of questions repeatedly, so I think I'm, I've been thinking about doing a frequently asked questions video to answer some of those questions, and also some others that I've thought up as well that also seem to be on the same topic. So if you want your question answered, send it to me in a private message on YouTube, 
will probably just send me an email with your question and title it FAQ. Ooh, traumatic. I'm looking at a C to forget. Um, and I'll... I won't put anyone's names in the video, since it'll be pretty much like generalized questions. I love swimming, how about you? And, uh, basically just so then I won't have to be getting any of the same questions repeatedly from now on. And whenever I get new questions, I'll probably put up those in another video of its own. Because, honestly, I've been getting some some questions I've been getting way too often, and some of them are really annoying. So I'd like to kind of get that out of the way now, as soon as I can, so yeah. Billy Flop! So send in your questions if you have any. I can beat Pokemon at swimming. Let's see, this place is actually a big water route. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing any trainers or not. I don't remember if I have caught a tentacle yet. I usually don't catch them due to how annoying they are and the low amount of experience that they give, but... Yeah. I mean, seriously, level 15, 225 experience? Okay, that's not the worst amount of experience, I suppose. Oh, I already battled that guy. <laughs> Let's see, what does this trainer say? I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. <clears throat> I guess some Pokemon you can only get on the surface of the water. Oh well. But still, if you have any questions, feel free to send them in, and I'll be answering them on the 30th, because I have no other ideas on what to do for that day. I was thinking of, uh, recording the, the highlights of that day, but I don't think I want to do that, actually, because it's more of a family thing. And... Yeah, I just wanted to do something simple for that day, as far as the video goes. I probably won't be posting any LP videos at all on my birthday. And I don't have any ideas on what to do for kind of like a preview montage like I did last year of LPs to come. And I've also had to cancel a couple of LPs after making that video. Like, uh... Um, there were a couple of fan games I had to cancel LPs of. Help! Like, uh, Shadow of Chaos and Neo Sonic Universe. I was originally going to do those, but then my computer stopped working with those games. They ju it just wouldn't play them anymore. You have to fish for sea Pokemon. Okay, let's try that. Do I have a fishing rod with me? Oh yeah, I have my super rod. I'm out in the ocean! Now is the perfect time to fish! Oh, that person's got long reach of vision. Swimming's great, sunburns aren't. Uh, this room is actually kind of big, now that I think about it. And... Build of Water-type Pokémon trainers. It's definitely an improvement over all those, po all those rockets. And I don't think we'll be seeing Team Rocket again throughout this game. Huh, which is a nice change to be able to finally move on with the, the regular trainers once more on a regular basis. And, uh, hmm, this LP has actually gone by kind of quickly, actually. It's, it's, well, aside from that uh, Sonic Faded Hour video, shocker! Being two parts. Um, this is probably one of my shorter LPs, actually. Wait, what did you say? My boyfriend wanted to swim to Sipo Miles. Okay. Oh, and this is a dead end right here. 
I don't think- Whoa! I did not see all those trainers there. But then again, they were off screen. <laughs> Oh, ah, yeah. Decently leveled tentacle. I suppose this is probably a good source of experience. But then again, tentacles in the wild. What the heck? What the heck? In, in every other game besides this, that would have been super effective. Oh, hey, level 48. Now he's on par with Stinger. Whoa, three trainers. Well then. Uh, I'm all out of time, so see you on the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Green version, where we'll probably get up to the Seafoam Islands, fly back to Pallet Town, and go around, go south from there. So I'll see you next time, and be sure to send those questions in.